What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justice Foles. We back at it again with another video, and today we're going to be talking about um, hot tubs and streamers and how that goes together. So, um, <laughs> if you didn't know, uh, there's there's this trend going on that's been going on for a while on, on Twitch, where uh, you know some women, some young ladies, they're going on there and they're streaming in their hot tubs and they're doing various activities for their audience. So um, before we get into the video, before we get into the details, um, just want to let you guys know I do have a website. It's www.justicefalls.com. It has my latest and greatest content, um, my covers and all of that, uh, gameplay, my music, which you should be hearing right now, and um, everything, everything else that I do, merch. I got, I got everything on there. My podcast, The Justice Falls Experiment. So uh, go check that out when you get a chance um, after you view this video. So make sure you know you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the bell so you don't miss a video. And uh, without further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, so Amaranth is set to lose almost 500k a year from Twitch ads being removed. So Twitch uh, is a streaming platform. It's not just for it's not just for gaming, but um, primarily people game on there. There's DJs on there. There's other musicians on there. There's artists on there. There's people that play chess on there. It's an interactive medium where you can stream, you can live stream your uh, whatever activity it is that you do. So. Um, there was becoming a problem with uh, female streamers. Um, primarily, they were they were like gamers or like just just chatting streamers, like people that just go and just talk to people. Like you could just go in there and go into like a um, put your category as just chatting, so you're just talking to the people whoever comes on the stream. And they were you know showing a little too much, showing too much cleavage, da da da. And you know, Twitch is kind of they 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 kind of promote it as like a family friendly kind of uh like site a site for like kids quote unquote um so they had they, they took issue with that so they so they then said okay you guys can wear you know bikinis and you know you can show cleavage or whatever if you're in an environment that warrants uh wearing a wearing a bikini or something or things of that nature so what they started doing was okay i can't really get to the pool like that and record there so they would just set up a little kiddie pool in their rooms or in their studios or wherever they have and then just do hot tub streams like they'll write like if you donate they'll write their name your name on you or, or they'll like pour like chocolate syrup on them or something like that really really provocative stuff like almost on some soft core porn type stuff so um you know obviously Due to the rise of that, there's like hundreds of girls doing it, hundred thousand girls doing it. You know, Twitch started to crack down on that because now like regular girl streamers are being harassed, female streamers are being harassed because you know these guys are sitting there like, well, where's your, where's your boobs? They were, I, I, I came in to see boobs, and, they, and these girls just want to just chill and play games, so they've uh, complained, uh, rightfully so, you know, because that is abuse, you know. And you know now they're cracking down on these streamers. So they make so I guess they decided to make an example out of Amaranth because she's like the biggest hot tub streamer on the on Twitch. Um, they took away all her ad revenue, so she's lost an estimated 500k a year from ads. She gets a lot of money from ads on her channel because some there's a lot of people that aren't subbed to her. So you know when you're not subbed to somebody, you get there's, there's ads that roll you know, to, uh, to, um, generate revenue for not only Twitch, but for the, uh, for the streamer. I'm a part of the, the uh, affiliate program. Um, I, I got recently, got recently got a part of the affiliate program, like a couple months ago. So you can follow me too at twitch.tv slash justice X fall, justice X falls. I, I, I'm a variety streamer. I stream whatever I want, whatever games I want or whatever music or whatever i feel like doing lately it's just been gaming stuff i streamed the other day i streamed uh uh what did i stream how did i forget outriders and mlb the show 2021 so um definitely go check me out on there so when you're a part of the affiliate program you you, you get the opportunity to have ads run on your channel so you can earn revenue and then you can get um 
you can get to the partner program, which MRF was in. That's when you get the real money. That's when you start signing. You sign contracts, and I think you get. I don't know if you get a wage from that, but you do get more ad revenue, more perks, and things of that nature. That's when you get big, you know, big money. You know, um, her average a month was thirty-five to forty k. You know, just doing, you know, just streaming. So that that should tell you how much money, you know, she she's out here getting, and that's not including her individual brand deals that she might have gotten herself. Um, and uh, money she's gotten, and money, um, and then not including the money she lost off of uh, off of uh, ad revenue. So I think like her general income, probably from her subs, every month was thirty five to forty k. Um, because you can subscribe for like three ninety nine to to a subscriber at different tiers, and like I think it's three ninety nine, and then it goes up from it scales up from there. So um, she kind of had a point here. I'm looking for a tweet. Yeah, here you go this tweet. Uh. One uh, person tweeted out, they they said, uh, why are they running condom ads on a streaming site for children? When you click the ad, it takes a product landing page where they have a banana wearing a condom. Did they demonetize me for not using protection while I was riding? Because she was on a banana in the hot tub, a banana uh, flotation device or whatever. You know, so you see condom ads there, you know. And then a condom around a banana like that. Um, I would say that there are teenagers on the site as well. Um, and I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure of Twitch's uh, Twitch's uh, promotion promotion scheme, but they uh, they do have a lot of teenagers on there. There are a lot of teenagers, and uh, teenagers that's when you start learning about sex and having you know safe sex and things of that nature they even start even in some countries they teach that sex education to children so that was a kind of a shaky argument that she got there because showing an ad for a condom is a little different than pouring hot chocolate on your tits while you're in a in a hot tub so i don't know that's a little that's i don't know she kind of she kind of well, to me she kind of reached on that one like this is this is an example of what you would see when you go on her stream and she's very attractive woman very attractive woman you know um and me i'm i'm not i'm not hating on nobody get your money however you can get your money as long as you ain't hurt nobody you know but if it's causing a problem in the community as a whole then twitch they have every right to step in and do something i'm not saying like twitch is the the, the perfect the end all be all of how they handle their their tos their terms of service but you know you got to sit there and manage these things as they come you know and sometimes it's going to seem hypocritical but that's what running the business is you're not going to always please please everybody so they doing what they can do even though i've heard some some underground some underground sleazy things going on with twitch but you know end of the day ain't no business is perfect you know you got to do what you got to do to uh circumvent you know situations like 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 we, like we see here so um so i don't know let me go let me know what you guys think i, I think People should try to get their money however they should try to get their money. Um, but you got to be careful to abide by the TOS. Even if you have to have like a lawyer look over it and, and, and see. Just so just so you're in the clear. Because you see what happened to Dr. Disrespect. They just took him off the platform. You know, at one point they done took Ninja off the platform. So if they taking all these big people off, like pe smaller streamers like myself and like mid, mid range streamers, you can get taken out too. Because they had a whole issue with the DCMA claims like people playing music during these streams and stuff like that because these record label people don't understand that i'm promoting your i'm promoting your music on my stream that's going to lead to more people going to your your platforms and downloading it but they don't they don't understand that you know they have like people in the music industry have like an old school people that run the music industry have like this old school mindset but you know that's a whole nother video but um you guys know the vibes like comment subscribe all that good stuff this is your boy justice false and we out one well,